If you could have heard us, Woody and I are sitting here, we sound like a fan club. I said, did you see Hedy Lamar backstage? He said, no, I didn't see her. And I said, I haven't seen her yet either. And he said, oh, I've loved her in movies. Uh, since I can remember, the most beautiful woman yeah, in motion. Yeah, she's really a knockout. Yeah, and that's the way I feel, too. We'll, we'll all see her together. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Miss Hedy Lamar. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Did you say you put on new shoelaces I did. for the show In tonight? Commemoration of the show, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Did you put on something new? I, I got dressed, oh. like uh, yeah, I, for you. It's all right. And I yes. wish you a lot of luck. Thank you. So, can I, uh, what do I feel? Uh, Hedy, can yeah, I? Yeah, of course. Right. That's my name. Ah, that's a terrific name. That's a great name for a movie star. Hedy Lamar. Yes. It's they don't make sort of sounds right, like for... They didn't have names like it's formerly oh, Hedy Lipschitz, I think. <laughs> What's it? a big story about that. Don't attack me. No, no, I'm not. I, on the other hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you Miss Lipschitz? No. no. Are you willing to be Miss Lipschitz? <laughs> yes, what do you have to <laughs> Mr. Lipschitz. <laughs> You like blondes, though. That's right. How do you know that? I saw your show. Oh. It's very simple. Oh. But I could squeeze. And a lot of them. I know. I could yeah. squeeze in a brunette, though. I <laughs> <laughs> and you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you live... <laughs> Easy. Do you live in New York? Yes. The other day I was on David Frost's show and they said, how long have you been here? And I said, would you believe two years? And I've been here quietly watching TV and the city and I love it all. What are you like so quiet about? Well, Why don't you I just like say I'm here? Nowhere I'm here. east is and west and on my two feet. I don't want to sort of throw myself on things. And I want to know what I want to do, like a little of everything. Did you dislike Hollywood? Is that where you left? No, no. Would you ever go back there and live? No, it's for Leslie now. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've you, lived it. Huh? What you peeping at, son? <laughs> well, that's the photographer. Oh. And I think he's aiming a little to the right over here. Come <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, because you sort of get lost, so I think. And then all of a sudden, somebody said, Hello, Haley, you know, or I yeah. see somebody. And, it's kind of fun, that, too, but you can kind of get lost. Were all your years you... in Hollywood happy ones while you were making motion pictures? The time... Well, I'm writing about that now, as a matter of fact. Did you like motion pictures? Yes. You weren't forced into them no. by a mother Never. who said, no. Eddie, oh, no. make a movie. No, hmm? on the contrary. Because you really came over here with a bang. Yeah. Huh? And I... Yes. Nice. Yes. <laughs> because, uh... I mean, there's... there's uh, Let moms do it. Right. Uh, what? No, I mean, uh... Yeah. Go ahead. Arthur will explain this to me after the show. But what they're doing now in movies is something... Else. Yes. Some years ago. You mean... Ecstasy. Well, I didn't know there were Zuma lenses then, you know, I was a kid. <laughs> Wasn't that scene supposed to be in the movie? I didn't think so. It wasn't a script, but then so many things aren't, you know. Well, how'd they take a movie of... The... I was a teenager. And you happened to be swimming that day and someone took no, a No, they said they were way away, you know. I didn't know there ah. were zoom out lenses and things like that. But that didn't sell the picture anyhow. Your, f your, your book uh, called Ecstasy and Me... Don't talk about that. That's Please. not my book. You wrote it? No. No, I didn't. Well, who's the it's other Hedy Lamar? Big... No, the book I'm writing is called Haiti. Uh huh. But Ecstasy and Me, that, that's uh, another story. Somebody else wrote. Did that hurt your image in Hollywood? I don't know what is an image. I mean, what's your image, Woody? It's my, the same as yours. Might be right? Yeah. I believe it, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I would say, now, you want me to, to tell you what your image is? Yeah. It's a, a, a glamorous, beautiful, 
uh, uh, internationally known star who uh, obviously rides in limousines and has great jewels and, and you don't scrub your kitchen floors. I don't like that, no. But tell me more. I but, never lived that way. Isn't that what it's all about? No. Not to me. I guess in the image it is, but you know. I'm serious. What's your image to you? My image to me? Yeah. yeah. Just, just a lovable sort of um, Protestant. Uh, guy. <laughs> Protestant? I thought you said your name was Lipschitz. Well, that's my image. Oh! Oh! I like blue jeans and sneakers and uh, polo shirts. And diamonds. <laughs> yeah. Rocks. Oh, did you see that rock? Yeah. Are you telling anyone? You know, I've watched television in this city. You know, you've, I never take it off, and it's five million million dollars. Mm. Oh. You know? Is it? It's a dollar. A real diamond? A dollar. She it's said a dollar. dollar. <laughs> One dollar. One dollar. It's just as good. Well, because... I mean, don't let it give you People would think that Hedda Lamarr would wear a real one so you can get away with it. Yeah, but uh, it's not necessary, don't you think? Not really, no. no. Oh. It's, book, I'm over all that. This book you're writing now, Hedy, mm. are there exciting... Incidences. Things that... Nobody ever knew about him. Regrets? In, oh, no, no regrets. You learn from everything all the time. Tell me something that I didn't know about you. I want to be a simple... I am. I mean, very simple, complicated person. <laughs> <laughs> Could you help her? <laughs> yes, you know not here. I mean? oh. You know what I mean. <laughs> I like to be me, and you as me, me, I know I'm different. I know I'm a little... You like all this, Mom's? Oh, yes. yes, I believe in being yourself. That's right. Be, be yourself. After all, you ain't got nobody but me. And if me ain't satisfied, ain't no need of you living. Yeah, but people say you me. are you and your image. Well, no, you don't have to be an image of nobody. Just be yourself oh, and yeah? treat your neighbor the same way. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is it, are you a grandmother? And how? How many times? Well, once. How old is your uh, granddaughter, Three. grandson? Three. Wendy. Three. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah. And my daughter, I visited her in uh, Florida a year ago. And the first thing she did, she walked out and she left me to babysit, you know. <laughs> and I, when she came back, I said, listen, I came here to have a vacation and I resent the whole thing. You sit and I'll have the vacation. <laughs> and she did. It'd be hard to call your grandma. They don't. She, uh, she thinks it's silly, you know. Yeah. And the kid thinks it's silly, so she calls me Grahedi. And she, she talks a blue streak, and naturally when she's bedtime, I say, Wendy, let's go play, because <laughs> I love it. I live, live my life over all the time. I thought I was through with the children, mm -hmm. but no, now she has another one, you know. I've got great grand. Huh? I've got three, six great grandchildren. I didn't know it's that. It's marvelous. Was. You finally started sure. a family. It's the mother's got them. I ain't got them, but the yeah. mother's got them. Because I ain't got time to raise just them. I don't believe in being a sitting grandmother. Or anything no. sitting. Well, you're anything but a sitting grandmother. And you, and you better believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Hedy, of all uh, the movies you made in Hollywood, do you remember one leading man better than any? No, I remember them all, but I remember... One that was special and nice, like Jimmy Stewart. I worked on three pictures all at once, and you race around and you change clothes and you have to know all the dialogue of all the films. And nobody cares if you're well, if you're sick, if you're tired or anything. And I said, oh my God, I have to read this uh, scene all by myself and nobody's going to be there. And up there by the lights was Jimmy Stewart reading the lines to me, and I thought, that was a nice thing to do, you know? Yeah. And they were all together much nicer than today. It's sort of a rush of things. I don't yeah. know where people rush to or what, why. Do you have a desire to make a film now? Would you like to go back? Yeah, and yeah. Have you seen so, anything you'd like to do? No, but I'm constantly looking. I have uh, things. I have an idea of something I want to do, you know? Of all the films you made... Like Brief Encounter, but the modern yeah. version. That's the thing. I'm so... Modern, you know, I like to be today. Mm -hmm. Everything I like what Leslie's doing. I'm interested in things today. Are you not? I mean, oh, I'm interested in young things. That's what yes. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I mean, <laughs> I'd rather 
Easy, Mars. <laughs> Easy. I'd rather pay a young man the way to California than to tell an old man the distance. Yeah. <laughs> and now a word from Adolph's. 